Hey guys, it's Don back here bringing you one more review. This time I've got a Hobby King offered A10. A10 Warthog, pretty famous uh, ground attack fighter. It's primarily designed for taking out tanks. Kind of a low and slow setup. Now this one's set up really cool because it looks fairly scale. The, the EDFs are beefed up a little bit in scale, but that's just so you can get some power out of this thing. So it's running a twin 75 millimeter electric duct fan. This thing's actually really fun. I'm not generally a massive fan of EDFs in general. Um, they're just, if you're used to prop driven stuff, they feel very sluggish on throttle response, but they're very good for high speed. So in general with EDFs, you want to watch it. Try not to do any really small field stuff. You got to have some takeoff and landing. Um, and that was definitely true with this one. It, uh, it didn't take too much, too much takeoff room just because, uh, it has a good amount of power, but remember, in order to get that power, you have to have a battery that's going to be able to supply that type of juice. So I'd say at minimum, a 25C discharge battery, a 3-cell 25C discharge battery would be about the least I'd recommend. Uh, 30, 35, um, something like a Nanotech would be perfect because, uh, you know, even running my, my 45C discharge rated Nanotechs, um, I like flying this thing fast, so I was running at full throttle a good portion of the time, and the batteries got warm. They didn't get hot to the point that they were going to be damaged, but they did definitely get warm. So, um, you know, in general, I really, uh, I really did like this plane quite a bit. It felt very scale in how it flew. It was really fun to do rolls because it didn't, it didn't um, want to go off center very much. It was fairly axial rolls. Keep in mind this plane is an aileron elevator setup, so um, okay. aileron elevator, no rudder. So in a heavy crosswind, I probably wouldn't recommend flying it just because you're going to have trouble keeping the thing um, lined up with the runway if you're if you're forced to land in a certain direction. So, um, so watch yourself in a crosswind because it has no rudder. Now I've been thinking about how to get a rudder in here because I think it would be kind of cool to, to throw a rudder on this thing and, and see how it flies with a rudder. but. It looks like probably a single servo in the center with uh, with lines going out to the rudder would be the best way to do it. Um, you know, maybe keep an eye out for a video on that. But I was really happy with this thing. It, it, it's fun. It's quick. It's surprisingly quick. It's not, you know, it's not like a flying thing fast, but it's uh, for an, for a scale looking A10, which the plane, the platform of the plane was never really designed to be that quick to begin with. Um, this thing was pretty fun. I did a couple high speed passes pretty damn close to my head, and uh, and it was a little scary, you know, because these, you know, EDS make a very special noise. They're pretty fun. You can hear them resonate a little more, um, and uh, you know, I had a lot of fun flying this thing. I was I was fairly impressed. So basic setup. There really was nothing to do. Um, I started out my setup with the maximum throws on the on the um, servo horns. You don't really need that. I actually ended up flying on low rates and ended up dialing those positions back. So start about midway on your servo horns, and um, I would recommend running a little bit of expo on this because it is it's fairly touchy if you have a lot of throw. And if you like doing barrel rolls and loops and stuff like that and, and kind of cutting it close, then make sure you have some expo set up so you've got that little extra bit of trim um, ready to bail you out if you need to. It runs a, um, a 2200 three cell fit all the way up in the nose forward and uh, hit CG just fine. So takeoff and landing was good. Just again, give yourself some room with this one. Make sure you've got a pretty good feel. Don't, uh, don't push it too close at the park. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. <laughs> what push? <laughs> what push? That was a perfect landing.